Or, let me load in first. So, okay. Oh, yeah, I need to resize the... Let's see. Resize... Oh, God. Why does it have to snap? Boom. Oh, whoops. Oh no. I lost it. To totally professional. Oh my god. 100%. Oh, it's not God damn it. <laughs> professional quality stream right here. Eh. That up a little bit. Boom. Gosh, I set my mouse out of lower DPI. Eh, eh. Good enough. And set that to the center of the screen. Eh, it's a little off, you can see. You know what, wait, hold on. Totally. There we go, easy. Easy production right here. <laughs> Professional streamer. <laughs> okay, now that I got all that settled down, we are back to some Mega Man. Hooray! Oh yeah, I should also bump up the sound a little bit over here on this end. Alright, so it should be fine now. Uh, okay, now that's all the way, uh, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm gonna go check the deployment center. I don't think much has really changed because there's no off, uh... Like, there's no real-world timer going off on here, so I have to actually wait in-game time to do that. Wait, did- Wait, the new Moo Moo Nemo? What's this? Wait, is that a- Oh, uh, I'm I'm not sure about that Moon Moon emo to be honest. <laughs> I never actually watched the guy. Okay, so gonna get back to some more of the uh, factory here. I haven't really done much in terms of offline uh, grinding or whatever. So. Uh, what we see here is what we pretty much had the last time. And I do believe everything was sorted alright. Oh, and also, uh, if, let me see. If you guys can notice, uh, the graphics are uh, should look a lot more crisper because uh, now that I'm on my desktop, I can actually um, upscale the crap out of the in-game resolution so that there's like less jaggies and- Oh no, this thing again. Ugh. Yo, oh, thank you for the host, Wiz. Oh, shit. Well. <laughs> hey, Crow. How you doing? Oh, Blitzkrieg. That's not good. But yeah, if I uh, up the uh, audio a little bit too much, uh, just mention it if uh, you guys need to. Let's see, what to do here? Charge shot? No. Can I kill him with this one power charge? Ooh, no, that that was not enough for. God damn it! That's not enough for a final strike, sadly. Oh, these guys. Pretty much don't really do anything, so I'll just go focus my frisk on this dude. Smash, smash. Oh, uh, what? Massimo. I was expecting more damage out of you. Fred Marino? There we go. Let's see. Uh. Ooh, just off lethal. 
Oh, we'll take a few more chip damage. It's not really gonna do much. Like, it's very minuscule double digit damage in the grand scheme of things. Oh, I got everything ready for Dark Souls 2 now, Carlos. Can't wait to watch. Next. Uh, uh, get out, get out of here. Don't hover over me, don't hover over me. There we go. Okay, uh, let me change something real quick. Uh, now that I'm playing in window mode, I can actually go check out chat now on the side. So... Go, move that over. Okay, so now I don't have to awkwardly look at my laptop. <laughs> so I, I can actually close my laptop because I have it acting as my second monitor, which is kind of janky. But now I can just close it and uh, <laughs> leave my other laptop alone. <laughs> there we go, that's so much better. I also think the sound might be a little bit louder, or a little bit too loud. I'm gonna go leave it at this uh, level. Oh, I got Knights of the Old Republic uh, on sale. Oh yeah, it's the May the 4th be with you uh, sale now, huh? I, I I definitely hope you have fun with uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Def definitely a favorite. Oh shit. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I walked into its uh, patrol path and if I walked, I get detected. If I get under it, I'm detected. But that means more XP for me. But yeah, I definitely hope you have fun with uh, Nessa O Republic. Uh, it is uh, definitely a really good game. And okay, I... Actually, no, Masmo can... Uh... Wait, hold on. No, this is going to be an awkward turn order because he's going to counter shield. Oh, no, no, Masmo can disrupt that. And... Oh, okay, okay, so I can attack this guy with X. Verano can disrupt uh, this Prion's uh, counter shield. Fastball can disrupt this one after its turn. Okay, so I'll just go attack this one. Uh, I don't think an action trigger would do anything here, so I'll just go Rust Missile. Power Charge. And just try to squeeze out as much damage as I possibly can. Boost the Zenny gain on kill. The Kotor damage system is weird. Oh yeah, it's uh, very reminiscent of like D and D uh, um, combat and stuff. With a lot of like dice rolls and references to like D twenty or D whatever. Uh, there's a lot of like uh, stuff going on about that. Uh, I rather like that that kind of system. Uh, uh, kind of emphasizes more of the RPG feel of it, I guess. I did it. Yeah, it's, it's rather cool. Damage vice for weapons are off. Oh god, oh god. My now it's in my way. It was partly lifted from Star Wars D20? Uh oh. Oh shit. Interesting. So wait, in D and D and derivatives, short swords is one D six and a long is one D eight, and flame wars and such are two D six. So how's it off in uh, KOTOR terms, because uh, it's been quite a while since I played uh, KOTOR. Oops. Our blades are double dice for a... Uh... Huh. Oh wait, wait, didn't wait, didn't my power charge hit? Wait, wasn't that supposed to be a 1k hit? 
Oh, wait, actually I gotta experiment with that again. For some reason the sword in uh, Nets Overplug is 1d12 and a Viral Blade is 2d6. Oh, a Vibro Sword? Uh, oh yeah, Vibro Sword and Viral Blade are considered different weapons, right? That's, that sounds rather weird. Oh, I missed? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Viral Blades can be used without the offhand penalty? Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Need more power. Oh, Viral Blades are more like short sword weapons? Oh, okay. Let's see, power charge. Okay, wait, I want to test something here. So, if I fire off my Rust Missile, but then Power Charge, I think... I think the Power Charge applies when something hits, but not when you fire it, so... L let me do the case where... So let me do the case where I fire off the Rust Missile, but then Power Charge after the hit. Okay, uh, maybe the- okay, this is not good for testing's sake because they can guard, so never mind. Test ruined. Here goes. Hey, just- how you doing? Wait, what are the null spaces? Oh, right, now that I got, um, Marino to level 20, I believe, she has the, uh, Reaper thing to instantly kill an enemy. Oh, shit, I, I did not mean to press that early. Oh well. Take that. Oh man, that one protect. Okay, so I did the Rust Missile Parch and I got roughly 700? So that's roughly 700 damage. So let me see. Mass Must Turn will come up, Power Charge. Oh, what? How did- Okay, that is rare to see Mass Must miss a melee attack on a ground unit. Okay, so how much damage does this do, like, just by itself? Okay, the- God damn it, damage. That is not how you're supposed to help my calculations. But energy weapons in D20 or Star Wars deal with three dice. But in Kotor, they only make them deal one dice worth of da one die worth of damage. That is that is a rather odd uh, ink or that's rather odd. Yeah! Let's do this! So either deal 1 to 6 damage with pistol or 1 to 10 Need plus 4 with the fire. Yeah, hmm, I wonder which one I should use. <laughs> okay, which way do I need to go? I forgot. Blasters are set to stun permanently. <laughs> Yo, Skylack, how you doing? Uh, Skylark, uh, how's the uh, Conclave event so far? Uh, I've only heard a few bit of news about it, but I haven't actually dove into anything until more information comes out. Although I think there should be enough information for like the first map or so. <laughs> this please. Okay, so that did apply, uh, so that did apply a thousand, uh, or eleven hundred damage. Because if we remember before on the same enemy, this only applied 
700 it, when we fired the rust missile, but then power charge before the missile hit. So from what I'm thinking, the power charge like applies instantly, but while the projectile's still in midair, uh, it'll apply the power charge uh, before it gets to land. So that's what I was trying to test for, and I guess that's the case. The, the Konkale event is ass in Node-wise. Wait, there's a new, a new, new class flagship Kai, a new, new class of... Ew, that, uh, uh, I'm not liking the sound of that already. Here goes. Okay, I'm gonna need a lifesteal. Oh, uh, one... There we go. Party's over! Alright, that's a pretty decent amount of life recovery. Hey! <laughs> Here we go. Final strike. I would love some more force metal energy, so thank you. <sighs> Wait, I the enemy's it. planes are retarded? Wait, how so? They're basically jets with 27 ASW. Ew, that that is disgusting. What? Those are disgusting stats. What the heck, Tanaka? Ugh, I feel dirty just hearing that. Tanaka, please. I heard the event's only three maps, but apparently there's two to three phases on some of them. Or no, not three maps, it goes up to five, right? But some of them have two or more phases, I believe. Oh god. I think I might just have to rush through on easy on some of those uh, maps if I want to have enough resources to last me the event. Oh yeah, uh, N Nero's uh, partnership finally came through, so now he actually has uh, emotes now. And uh, so many people sub to him, like, instantly that he has uh, six whole emote slots, which uh, are, pr are pretty nice. Wait, uh, event 3 has 3 phases and E2 has 2. Oh. And what? What's next? E4 has 4 phases? Nah, just kidding. I, I don't think Tanaka would be that sadistic. Okay, who am I, who am I kidding? Who will be? <laughs> it's like, here's a transport phase, and then here's a... A, a red phase to... It. Oh, wait, what's one doing? And then... Another transport phase, but you have to scrap some extra science. And then another uh, boss kill phase. It's like, oh boy. But in order to get that boss, you need to unlock a new start path. Like, oh boy, I can't wait. Plus another boss debuff or two from previous maps that you have to clear out. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna love seeing a Nero's... Oops. I'm gonna love seeing uh, Nero's emotes uh, in other Twitch chats now that <laughs> Nero's officially partnered with Nep emotes. Oh yeah, I, I heard about the E1 dropping uh, Yamashiro Kaini. That is, uh, that is rather uh, janky. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> Level one Kaini. <laughs> Okay, I should not use my action trigger because I've probably triggered this. So my best bet would be to kill this one. Asmo. Go smash this guy's shield so he doesn't burst anyone. Ooh, that is pretty good damage. Marina, I'm gonna need a life steal. So how about we life steal off of this weak here guy goes. here? One, two, one. Okay, wait, what's the timing on this?
Oh shit. God damn it. Gotcha. That, that pattern seems so weird to me. I don't know why. Well, like, my timing is a. Er, trying to get the timing down is a bit off for me because of the extra slots that have been put in the uh, action trigger. Wait, also, there's also another bug with uh, E2 where it wasn't uh, completable, so people had to redo the transport. Ugh. Rewards are also asked too. Really? Uh, how bad are the uh, rewards? Uh, depending on how they are, I, I might just consider just rolling by on easy. Because honestly, uh, I don't think I'll have time to properly uh, spend uh, trying to clear on medium or hard if it's actually worth it. Next. Furniture Fairy, Furniture, Mark II, Repair Goddess. And a shitty death projector. <laughs> really now? Uh. Seems good. I should probably heal again. Uh, actually, no. I, I believe Marino can actually lifesteal if I actually hit my timing properly. Oh. Right, I need to... Let's see, I need to go around. Wait, the Death Projector only has four ASW? What? That's worse than the... That's your reward for a hard mode? Okay, that better be improved to, like, be something godly at, like, 10 ASW for a Death Projector or something. But, like, what? Like, just four? <laughs> that is... That is pitiful. Oh, hey! The Killer Mantis is operable. Oh, sweet, we get a Killer Mantis for an Expedition Slave. When am I gonna get partner? Ah, uh, it's a work in progress if I keep streaming enough and consistently enough. Okay, so I got a new uh, thing here. So what was it? Hunter's Missile? So, it's basically it's an extra powerful missile. With a high hit chance. So, I believe in terms of hit chance... Uh... Do I want that? No, I don't think that would work well with Massimo. Oh wait, uh, wait. Wait, I forgot, was I-13 with, uh... No, wait, what are the names again on the, the ships? Uh, Eo and, uh... Ifumi? God, <laughs> I, I can't remember the names. <laughs> But wait, uh, I thirteen drops on E one. What? <laughs> huh. Okay, so who am I gonna equip this uh, missile on? The more that I think about it, I'm not sure if I really want this. Uh, recharge missile. I'll go equip. I'll go equip these. I believe. Let me see. Power charge. Mm. A tractor net with a bind. That could work. Super absorber. That should be fine. Oh, Hitomi. Oh, Hitomi. Not a. <laughs> Whoops. I was off by two letters. Oh, Magi drops an E2? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, I already- uh, oh, cutscene? Oh, wait, did I make it to the boss already? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, I was not expecting this already. <laughs> Done in already? I still haven't healed Marino yet. What happened to all your spirit? Uh, uh. Hm. Well, make your last wish. Wah! 
Oh shit. Rescue crew. You. you. X. And Axel? Trio's back. Why? All the glass ass hunters together again. May as well just beg us for mercy. Curses! <laughs> oh, wait, he just. Oh, man. We let him get away. <laughs> Thanks, Axel. Zero, you're alive. Good to see you too, buddy. Hey, you two. Save the chat for later. We've got to get down to business and go. He's right. Let's get him. Defeat the Mavericks? Yo, we got zero back. Who's ready for combos? Oh, wait, what? Warning, warning all. Attention all personnel now initializing Dubor. Keep now initializing Dubor. The advice of some subsystem may be temporarily shut down to secure initiate or er, initialization er, sequence energy. Wait, what is Dubor? What's going on? Whoever did it, uh, whoever it was back there probably did something. The last announcement said that facility functions were compromised. Okay, if we're gonna go look for him, now's a chance. Uh, see you later, Wiz. Have a nice one. Zero's right. We need, or we're going after Gentra. Yo, let me get some sweet loot. Yo, you know what? Screw this. I am getting zero back. Actually, no, uh, this. You know what? No, we, we need we need the original trio. There we go. Welcome back. See, I believe zero should have. Ah, oh, yeah, double double heat haze. You know, Z Saber? Nah, nah, nah. We, you know, you know this? We don't, we don't need this. We need the Soul Saber. <laughs> yeah. L look at this power difference. 10 to 50. You know, let's go. Uh, we are going all in on this. <laughs> okay, Zero. You are gonna need some good old weapon energy here. So, uh, who has... Oh, I'm gonna need to unequip some stuff. Huh. Let's see, backup, 100, W5, need W5, need LE100. Is this some kind of endless loop if I need W100s and W5s to make a gain W plus 5? Seems so redundant. <laughs> or so, like, unnecessary because you just basically get... Nothing done in the crafting cycle. Oh yeah, wait, there's four ship blocks. Oh yeah, I heard about that. This is gonna that's gonna suck. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? So anyone else with Hmm? B plus three? I guess might as well. Oh, off by one, are you serious? Uh, no, if I go off by one, there's a chance that I might either suffer lower health or severely decreased weapon energy gain per turn. So, I'm gonna have to unequip this. Once he gets a level up, I can actually deal out some Good damage. I'll probably get some speed up to make up for the fact that the Soul Saber that I have equipped for Zero's uh, Secret Shop item, it, it lowers the speed a lot compared to this other stuff. So hopefully that'll make up the turn order for a bit. So we got that. Let's see. Yeah, we can put this back on X. Alright, now we got the crew back together. Let's go kick some butt. Wait, Kasugamaru was drawn by Shibaf uh, Shibafu? Uh, wait, who is that artist again?
Wait, she requires a catapult? Are you, are you serious? Tanaka, please. Not, not like this. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I just noticed the Zero's, like, Soul Saber. That looks... That looks like a pretty badass sword. <laughs> Has, like, rune engravings on it. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, it needs a... She needs a catapult to upgrade? Are you kidding me, Tanaka? Okay, I'm gonna need to build up uh, Zero's action trigger here. Oh, let's go, combo master. Oh, I only had enough of six. Hardly a fight. Yes, 34 plants last oh jeez. <laughs> wait, wait, do you mean 34 slots in total or what's the uh, distribution on her? Because I can't tell if it's uh, a sarcastic thing where you say 34 in total or 34 in one slot. Fourteen, eight, and three. Wait, uh, what's she classified as again? I forgot. Sub energy. Am I filled up on sub tanks? Oh, is it boss time already? Oh, wait, is this the Dubor thing? Oh, no, I'm fighting a uh, Gentro now. <laughs> <laughs> How long is he laughing for? How long is he laughing Sir, for? You've come. Oh my god. You won't get away this time. What the heck is that laugh? Oh my god, he's doing You'll it again. The ones begging for mercy. <laughs> now do war. Dismantle them. <laughs> the fuck is this laughing? Oh, I'm fighting Dubor now. It is all for the ideal. So what are oh, I, I believe I, I need Marina for analyze. Hold on. Here I go. Okay, hold on. Uh, no, I do not. Was it... Was this spider that had Analyze? Yo, disc, how you doing? Enough from you. Thank, thank god there's no penalties for switching. I need to check this. Fire guard, oil can, takes extra fire damage. Uh, energy, twin fire. Ooh, twin fire. Okay, the tank energy will be really good here because once I run low due to the fact that yeah, trust level 42 for crying out loud. Uh, that'll be good to keep in mind. So I might need Marino to save up on her weapon energy. The protect one. Okay, so only one really worth stealing from is Dentra. So for the time being, I'll put in Marino. Ready or not? Now, let's see. How should I do this? So I'm gonna need to kill off the uh, lackeys on the side first before I even try touching uh, Gentra. Because I don't believe he calls in for reinforcements, but this could things could get dicey if I ignore these things. And that is a train right next to my house. <laughs> or neighborhood. I uh, don't know if you guys actually heard that or not, but apologies if you guys did hear it. Oh hey, first try. Did you guys actually hear that? Hopefully you didn't. <laughs> Ooh. That is... 
Let me see, how should I do this? Uh, I shouldn't action trigger right off the bat. I don't want to kill my turn order. Oh, uh, you guys did hear it? <laughs> okay. That's what I get for leaving my window opened for ventilation. <laughs> because now that I have my desktop running here at a all right overclock uh, thing, my room will get a bit toasty. And given the fact that summer's coming up and the fact that <laughs> things are getting quite hot around where I live, I'm gonna need to uh, keep my window open. Uh oh. No, don't bully Marino. Alright, so. Gonna get Hawkeye. Zenny. And I need item steal here. There we go, twin fire. Now it's my turn. Oh no. Ooh. That that would have been bad if Marino got hit there. Because I don't believe she has proper fire defenses. Okay, I need to carry this Prion before I do anything. Let's see. Uh I gain enough weapon energy next turn, so 525 now. And I get 35. So then if I can go down. I believe I can use both of my missiles here. Actually, no. What do I even need to? I mean, it's pretty much close to dead. But just in case, I'll just use one to confirm it. I'll finish you. Uh oh. Ooh. About that. Okay. I just use fifty percent here. Wait for Marino to. Uh, I'll probably have to sub out Marino real soon. <laughs> okay, Marino, uh, you're very useful and all, but... Uh, let me see, who do I want? Zero? Uh, what I'm really not sure about using zero here for is the fact that... Uh, <clears throat> is the fact that Gentra is flying, so mainly has now reduced... Real fun starts. Like... Yeah, I'm probably gonna miss here, but I'm gonna go give it a shot to see if there's any different hit chances based on the fact that it's a boss. Yeah, okay. Nah, that was kind of a waste of a turn. Oh, what? How is that? Oh. oh! Okay, so I actually have to... Oh, he re-summons them? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, do I have a boost power? I'm gonna need this. Zero, you can go show off with your fancy, uh... Do I want you to heat haze right now? Nah, I I I'll save it. Okay, wait. So I can action trigger for the guaranteed critical. And then maybe have Axel uh, finish both as many as I can off with the uh, Silverhorn ability. Because I should be able to hit everyone with a clean crit. There we go, and now he should be grounded. In hindsight, I should really boost uh, zero speed so that... Oh yeah, I should. But I'm not letting that Prion live. Although, wait, will Silverhorn be enough? Ha! Oh, we'll see. Head back. Oh, that is not enough for a final strike. Ooh. The damage is not not that bad. Uh, let me see. Just need Haze to confirm the kill. Hmm. Uh, 
Dude, that is not gonna phase him. There we go. Okay, now I can get a uh, Black Zero going here. So this should, this is an ample opportunity to get off some uh, clean hits here. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? Because I'm thinking of double heat hazing, but what's more worth, uh, extra input time for more combos, or basically getting uh, t times three hits because of the double heat haze for extra hits? So I'm not really sure, but I believe I'll just go with double heat haze. Uh, I didn't get six off. Ooh, sweet damage. Now it's my turn. Oh god damn it. Yeah, I, I don't believe uh, many of the other uh, guys here will actually be that great for this fight, to be honest, unless I really need a sub out in case people get low. Um... I see that we have pretty dank sub tank levels already, but uh, let's see, under missile. Hmm. So how do I take care of this? I mean, I could have X focus down the prions individually, have Axel ground the Gentra, and then just have zero. Uh, just go ham with his uh, normal attacks, potentially. But I'm not sure about that. That seems really risky. I really wish I had a boost all uh, party members thing going on here. But uh, I could use uh, Ultra Blizzard, but it's not really the greatest choice in the world, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure about that. And I'm not really sure about using uh, X-Fire here because, to be honest, there's no real... I I'm not sure what kind of benefit I would really get from it, to be honest. So, I'm not really sure. Let me see. Uh... Or I can just say screw it because when I go X-Fire, I take reduced fire damage. And I just get increased stats in general. So, I guess I can go for it now. Here goes nothing! And if things get dicey, I can always switch out X. Uh, and with other members that can boost their stats with their high performs. <laughs> well then. Uh. Okay, that did not ground him at all. Uh, I'm gonna have to cool down with uh, Zero here. I don't want to waste too much of his hyper. Okay, now that uh, Zero's like that, uh, probably don't want to heat haze. Eh, I'll go save it for a bit. Now it's my turn. Ooh, that's heavy. That's pretty heavy damage. Um. Uh, Wait, if I use an item... Hmm, no, okay, so... I should probably cool down. Use an item. Or, like, uh... Heal everyone. And then... Go back to hyper mode again, I believe. I think that should be the better course of action here. Because I should still get an extra turn, because... If I were to just waste my hyper mode, and, uh, and then heal... Then I just waste- I basically just wasted a full round. Okay. Alright, so now the Axel's back. Uh, I should probably just focus on, uh... You know what? I'll go boost speed for... Zero. Where is he? But don't- don't boost Gentra speed, that would be really bad. <laughs> There we go. So, slightly better turn order. See, okay, now it'll be a complete waste if I 
try to use my charge shot right here, so... Let's go with the, this. Ooh, not good enough. Ah. Uh, okay, so it basically wasted a turn by healing. Oh. I can deal with another round of damage. But I believe I can make this work with Silverhorn here. Come on, please hit. Nice, and I got final strike. Here goes everybody. Sweet. Now I can get him action trigger again next turn. He's grounded. And I can go to block zero it. here. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, if I heat haze, I wouldn't have enough for an action trigger and he'll be lifted back up, so I have to go now. Oh god, I, I fumbled so many inputs. Oh, well, that's good enough. No, no! Oh my god, I wanted to go to X Fire. God damn it. Now it's my turn. Ah, this sucks. Do I, do I really want to waste my trigger here? Because I swear on my uh, analog stick, I went down enough for hyper mode, but I guess not. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Uh, I don't want those guys screwing with me. Did I charge shot? Yeah, I guess I should charge shot and then have Axel wipe the field again. Charge shot. I don't want any extra damage coming up from them. Now, yeah. How is that? Nice, final strike for extra weapon energy. Here we go, final strike. That should be plenty of. Oh, what? Oh, I thought I'd get more uh, weapon energy from that. To be honest. Um. Hmm. Ha! I'm not really sure if this is worth it. Ooh, yeah, that was not worth it. I was expecting to get a final strike out of that. Okay, cool down. I messed up the turn order quite a bit. Sub tank. Uh, X, I believe he's fine. He has more than 50%. You know, thank god that guy doesn't heal Gentra, otherwise this would be a long fight. Uh, you know what? Here goes I I'll go X-Fire so I can build more weapon energy because Hyper Mode gives me extra gain. And theoretically next turn I should be able to knock down Gentra so I should go for a max charge hit on him. There we go. Oh, baby, that is a lot of it. Yeah. Oh, you just need five more classes for an associate's degree? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, how would I do this? Okay, so I could use the action trigger for zero here because the third move is zero, uh, Whatever the DP move was called, basically it's a guaranteed hit on flying enemies, so I could just keep spamming that move. Because it's a hundred- because from what I read up, uh, it's a hundred percent guaranteed hit against flying enemies. So it should be plenty good here, so let me see if I can pull that off. 
I'm not sure if I need to keep d using that, though. Oh, thank god I got six off. How in the, how in the... Ooh, I'm so close to the final strike. I really want to get that final strike. Okay, okay. I believe I just need... No, 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 wait. If I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no. I, I cannot hit him. I really want to finish this off with the final strike because I can get extra uh, weapon energy gain from this. So from what I'm thinking, um, because the melee hits the fire is a fire hit and he absorbs fire. So I think I should. Hmm. Uh, do I want? To... Nah, I I really shouldn't greet it just for uh, force metal energy. That's not really worth it. So let's just go like this, cause uh, technically this is neutral damage. So... Maverick Hunters... Too powerful. I did it! You did it. Fortunately, the boss fight didn't seem as bad as I thought. I remember having a lot... Uh, a... Uh, a tougher time with this than... Oh, hey, action trigger power up. I remember when I used to play this long time ago, I had a much tougher time, but I guess I was severely underleveled. Uh, no. Now the Rebellion's prize soldier factory has closed its doors for good. Fools. If I die... Uh, uh, Do Ball will go berserk. Out of control. Think you can handle a few hundred frenzied mechanoloids? <laughs> God, the ear. The laugh into explosion. Uh oh. Oh. Oh wait, I don't have my sub tanks refilled for this. Oh, oh no, I still have these in my sub tanks. Oh, if I remember correctly, this gets harder and harder to actually survive. Uh, who's my better AOE people? At this point, I, I might need a sub hut zero for spider, or maybe uh. Yeah, I might need I might need to sub off for Spider so I can use his blanket hits from his Joker card. Although it's our RNG chance of actually get pulling that off. Shot. Now. Yeah. Here it goes. And round two. Oh please don't tell me they Oh really now. Oh, I should have put on more hits there. Wait, it th that did not say before. What? It only said one of them was ahead of me. Uh, okay, how am I gonna do this? Uh, maybe I should try out the new action trigger that I got from Gentra. Oh, I probably just triggered double counter. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, that does not trigger double counter. Uh, do I want to waste my... Nah, let's go waste it. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll need a sub out for Massimo because... No, Marino? Yeah, let's do Marino. Here I go! Hopefully, Marino doesn't get targeted. Okay. Barely any damage. Here goes!
There we go. Party's over. Had to take a little extra time on that. Ah, oh, I missed one, so I... Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, well, it's a decent heal. Uh, so for this, I believe we need someone that hits harder. Um, we got Massimo. You can most certainly get the kill one hit right here. There we go. Oh, hey, we have an enraged guy over here. Uh, no, no one's that weapon energy status. Enough from you. Time for a fight. I'm gonna have to do Trickstar here because uh actually was there really a good reason to do this? Eh, not really. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I was hoping for a blank hit or a double hit there. Uh, no, that guy's move is far away. Hey. Should die in one hit. Oh, no. Oh, wait, that one looks a little bit different. Oh, I did not see that. Yeah, this is a prion hybrid, because compared to this guy who's just level 9, I did not see that this guy was a hybrid at level 24, because we can see that, uh... He has the blaster from the chaser, but also the uh, arm from the shielder. Okay, that was a huge mistake for me. Oh, how should I do this? This thing's next turn will be for a while. Two pair, full house. Uh, two pair. How's that? Oh yeah, my increased stats uh, definitely wiped the floor with it. Ooh, I got... Uh, Marino got binded. That's not good. Reduced turn time. I want to sub her out for... Uh, no, I need, I need someone that can actually get rid of this thing. And yeah, as we progress on, uh, we'll definitely see much uh, tougher enemies as time goes on. Okay, so I got zero at 100% weapon energy, which is nice as like a backup in case it's like a really tough prion. Uh, so for now, uh, I'll just go do this. Final strike to build up the uh, weapon energy and get some extra full metal. Uh, full metal. <laughs> uh, force metal energy. <laughs> full metal energy. Uh, yeah, I got some extra weapon energy. Uh, spider should be cooling down. I did not get as much out of that as I thought, sadly. Um, item, I'll take... I'll get anti-lock for Marino. Really gonna need her uh, uh, up to speed. Zero. Now the real fun starts. <laughs> what is she raiding for, Crow? Ooh. You can't run away. And ooh. You know what, X, uh you, you can uh take care of this buddy. Let's do this. Oh wait. Well can I defend? Ah, oh, yes, and I can cheese this uh, to get that extra bit of uh, weapon energy for that guaranteed crit. Shot. Sweet. Now, yeah. Nice damage across the board. That is what I want to see. As for Spider... Okay, I either go with my main attack and pray for a blanket hit, or I action trigger and hope for a full house or something that sweeps the entire field. I'll go for the extra trigger. Full house. All in. Full house! Oh, that... That was rather lackluster. <laughs> uh, I, I, was ex I was expecting so much more. None of, none of these guys can actually... Uh, 
It's awkward. Oh, I got one down. <laughs> break shield? That is not good. Oh, right. They use break shield so that they convert their shield stat to power. Yeah, they, so I guess they're programmed to always convert their defenses into raw power, so... I need to take care of this right now. So I believe Axel will be appropriate here because he has... I, I guess more adequate damage compared to Spider. Like so. Zero. One Heat Haze just to ensure the kill. And now X should be fine to get this into Final Strike? Or just kill it straight out. I did it. Oh, that was it. Sweet, some extra level ups. Always nice. Oh, they're still going. This doesn't look good. Okay, it's all or nothing. Axel, what is he up to? Jabor, cease the attack! Cease the attack immediately! Huh. I think that Dubor would have voice recognition because Axel does not have any voice acting skills whatsoever. <laughs> like, you think that Dubor would listen via voice recognition and also like physical appearance with like any cameras, but <laughs> like it would be more convincing if Axel had like some kind of voice uh, changing ability. <laughs> I'm sure glad you're alive, Zero. Oh well. <laughs> yep. Glad you're alive. Whatever here, works. Me, X, and Axel back together. We'll be able to show the Rebellion Army a thing or two. Okay, Axel, Zero, let's head to the base. I've got some introductions to make. Introductions. introductions? Hey, chapter clear. And chapter six. You've got to be kidding. Uh -oh. These are your friends. They're the dregs of Giga City. Zero wait. <laughs> Yes, he really doesn't like our friends. Shadow betrayed us, remember? The roids here could go maverick and turn into enemies at any time. Hmm. I'm sure you have your reasons, but I'm gonna work alone. Okay, Batman. He just needs time to adjust. He'll come around. How you doing, Druther? It's too bad Zero doesn't believe in us. Maybe we can find some way to change his mind. Oh! Incoming transmission. Oh, wait. Colonel Redips. Wait, did Zero take my force X? medals? Were you <laughs> able to make contact with Zero? Zero is alive. But he, he says he'll work alone. I see. I'm sure he's got some kind of plan. Try not to dwell on it. In the meantime, we've received information regarding a crucial rebellion army facility. Have a look at this. This is some really shoddy reception. There appears to be a secret rebellion research lab. There must be some testing. Nana, are you able to determine its location? Yes, but it will take some time. Get started. And Zero left the party again. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I guess I can't go to the deployment center, sadly enough. Oh, let's see what uh, Chief R has to say. So a traitor put uh, Zero's life in danger. Well, I can understand why I won't have a hard time trusting Replays or Giga City, but we are fighting for the same goals. Surely we'll uh, reach common ground eventually. Ah, it's a JRPG. We'll see Zero later. He won't leave us forever. Uh, Axel? Spider with the... Well, we only know what that means. Hey, X. Something up? Yeah. Got a transmission from the Colonel. Who else do we know has a ability that has a shiny thing like that? So, yeah. Kind of odd that we see something like that that we saw from Axel. Spider. So, even though X has no clue for some reason, but obviously there's something Spider's not telling us. Before rejoining late game. Yeah, pretty, I guess that's how the formula goes. Because Zero is pretty overpowered, to be honest. <laughs> like, even having him for that one fight uh, was enough to make life a lot easier in terms of, like, just raw power hits. Zero, huh? Why well, he's got some spirit for a Maverick Hunter? Well, that's nothing against you, mind you. But yeah, quite odd that we see a uh, spider in the corner here. So obviously foreshadowing. Uh, there's some real sketch stuff going on. How much money do I have? Ooh, I I believe I do have enough money to acquire some new items. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh boy, Zero never changes, does he? Share the same goal, so we should be working together. Ah, well, his loss. I guess something real terrible must have happened to Zero. Ah, uh, it's, it's probably what's making him feel like he can't trust anybody. But the dregs? Ah, oh, come on, that's an awful thing to say. What does a fake like me know, right? Oh, uh, Massimo does kind of <laughs> know his place a tiny bit being the... Uh, the fake Massimo, I guess. Or I guess like the heir to a legacy, but... Massimo really does look down upon himself. Zero's pretty cool, isn't he? I don't see anything wrong with being a loner, but he's supposed to be your friend, right X? I do think I couldn't trust my own friends. Alright, so there's some question... Okay, so there's a question I need to answer here. Do I upgrade everyone's items with a next tier upgrade at the weapon shop? Or do I up or do I upgrade one person's um weapon at the secret shop at back at Lagrana Ruins? So either soup up one character with their endgame weapon or just get uh average stuff. So I gotta decide on that. Oh cutscene. Image analysis complete. The structure is probably near... the Ares Valley in southwest Giga City. Judging by the size of it, it would seem likely that there's some major research going on there. A secret lab, huh? Sounds like fun. Let's check it out. Am I gonna get the title card? Oh, I guess I wanna actually teleport there. Okay, deployment center, we we need to grab some people back. Ooh, I see that we have reduced stars so that they actually succeed in their mission. Shit. <laughs> hey, there we go. Oh. Man, like, D-Shark and Metar cannot survive a mission for their life. Like, Jesus. Yeah, camp. Let's see, Godil Laboratory. Alright, we gotta attack up. He is now maxed out. And no big change. Ooh, we got a generator sub weapon. Nice. Okay, so we got two places that increase the movability here. So I'll probably wanna. Let's see, who do we got here? 
Pillar Mantis is severely lacking in int and move. So I'll probably want to have him search uh, Tiana Camp. Do I want him to be a leader though? I could put D Shark and Mantis out. And maybe. That's hard. Uh, is there anything that gives vitality? Uh, sadly, no. I probably want something like, uh, slow on int. Uh, how about Deer Ball? We get results. It seems like an alright team. So, Godia Laboratory, who can make use of the increased attack rush loader, Metar for sure. Uh, I think I want to save Sign Dropper for a Vitality place, but I don't know. Uh, I think I'll go with the Prion here, just for the extra attack of Vitality to ensure that the team stats are padded out. Not much in terms of the attack stuff, but everything else seems pretty fine, so I'll go to play that team. The Ulfat Terror ter Factory. So, I'll probably go search this place with the. Uh... Oh, right, I don't have good crew for that. Uh, I think I'll save the extra stuff once I actually get some more uh, deployable units. Alright, so onwards to the marketplace. See what our new options are. Hey, Cinnamon, how you doing? You acts on zero all friends, right? I'm sure you all make up soon enough. It's just kind of intimidating it, but he's a good person. He's just scared, that's all. Yeah, in a way, the, the whole running away because of betrayal thing does kind of show a bit of fear, even though we kind of brush it off as anger. So it's understandable, uh, like, Zero doesn't want to get backstabbed again because of the Shadow Winston. So, Weapon Shop, what do we got here? Oh, right, hold on, hold on. Uh, I have my new weapon. So I go... Arrow Buster? Why not get this? Oh, I need to reorganize my stuff here. So, Restore... Oh yeah, I, d I do get my Soul Saver back. So, Arrow Buster has increased uh, evasion 5% each, but... Oh, it gives no st it gives no stats? Or armor stats. I'll have to go with the Fire Buster. Sounds a lot better. So, let's see who we got here. Huh. I wonder why we can buy zero sabers if he left our party. Hmm. Quite suspicious. But anyways. Uh, let's see, Massimo. This is an improvement overall for just 4k. Sounds like a deal. So what's this? Excellent for providing Metars. A 4 hit attack. A minus 20% hit ratio. Uh, I kind of want Metar Crash, to be honest. Wait. Oh, whoa. Cinnamon gets 50% armor reduction on hit? Wow, wait, that sounds really good. But I already have Cinnamon's, like, metal boxer thing, which is high crit and evasion. Uh, I don't know. Who do I, who do I get here? You know what? Uh, I'll go to Lagrana Ruins and check out uh, what I need, actually.
Alright, so let's go check out the secret shop. Maybe we'll show us the fastest way to get to the secret shop, but uh, we gotta make the dash all the way over there. So let's see, who... Who would I upgrade a weapon for? Hey, you know what, let's just run. Fall back for now. Not real much point in attacking them. The rewards are just minuscule, so it's not really worth my time. Like, I could just instantly wipe them with uh, X's charge shot, but let's be honest, uh, it's not gonna net anything significant. So we're gonna be falling back for quite a bit as we move upward. Alright, and one more room across. We should be at the secret, damn it, secret shop. Ha. Ah, whatever. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Jeez, uh, 18 XP divided over 6 party members? Man, that is quite a bit. Alright, so she here's the secret shop. So what weapons you got for us? Okay, so right now I can only buy the Interceptor. You know, I might use Massimo a lot more now that I can get this. Let's be honest, look at this thing, 93 compared to how much was the Massive Lance? It was like what, uh, 40? Like, this is 93. So... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go grab this. Uh, although in terms of what I will get next... Let me see... Yeah, I need to get the Kitty Gloves for Cinnamon, so I can actually have her be more useful in the front lines. Because this is 5 hits for, I would assume, 5 chances to lower every single stat on an enemy. And on bosses, I don't believe it'll be that significant, because I think they have immunity. Oh, okay, uh, see you, Druther. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah, so I don't, I don't believe that uh, this would be applicable to bosses, but... If I can apply this to like mini bosses, really tough normal enemies that I might come across, this would definitely come in handy. And if I, uh, like, Cinder would be a very good healer or debuffer. Auto bullets, uh, this is a really good upgrade for Axel because uh, even though the stats don't really look like much, I mean, like, our arm and shield don't really get changed at all, and the hit ratio is down, but we have eight whole hits, which is similar to the. Gatling Buster, but Axel does have more slots for where I can equip Eagle Eye, or I can actually take swap out uh, for Marino's uh, Hawkeye, so I can guarantee every hit. So I can definitely make much use of this Turbo Buster. That's gonna take a long time to farm enough. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go too, Scarlet? All right, uh, take it easy. Thanks for sticking around. Wait, uh, what was that the, uh... Yeah, not real much there. Force Metal Shop. Yeah, uh, not real much here, so... I forgot, uh, what was that the secret item shop? Is there a boost all by any chance? No, there isn't. Okay, so Massimo. Yeah, that is, uh... Pretty hefty change, so I might actually have to switch you back. Actually, no, you already swapped back, but uh. Hmm. I call Marino in front. Okay, so I'm still gonna have to look back into crafting for uh, the force met or the force medals from uh, Cinnamon. Because there's a lot of stuff that I can't get back in, I can't purchase in the merchant shop, or would cost a little bit too much than if I were to acquire them through crafting. So I'm gonna have to flip through the recipes for a bit, unlock some stuff, make sure Cinnamon gets proper levels. 
and should be good. Next. Okay, now that one's locked. Okay, on my way back. I really wish I can use like an escape pod item or something because uh, all this needless running. I really out. wish the secret shop would pop up somewhere within Central Tower itself and not the ground of ruins of all places. But, I don't know. Although, now that I think about it, uh, what made the devs decide, uh... What made Capcom decide, like, hey, you know what would be a good idea for this place? Let's just go put it in the secret shop for all these goodies. It's like, why? Just because, I don't know. Because honestly, like, you could put it anywhere, so why would you put it back in the, uh, first chapter area? Alright, so what force medals did I give up for shopping for Massimo's super weapon? Full specs. And a protect three. Weapon energy. Yeah, not real much I missed out on here, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? I think it was a good purchase, getting Massimo's, uh, weapon. Uh, so not real much here in terms of that stuff. Slant the missiles are kind of meh. Weapon energy, I... guess I could buy more of, potentially. Uh... I don't know. Oh, wait, uh, I need to craft more stuff, huh? Wait, is Cinnamon is level 16, so... I should be able to make something? Oh yeah, I, I can craft this. Sweet. So, boost that. Yeah, might as well. Here. Go. Uh, full specs. Ah, sure. It's not like I'm going to use any of those. Here. Then sooner or later, I should be able to get full specs three. And to prepare for that, I will go make another. So wait, do I need a? Oh right, I don't have power three because I have equipped all of them actually. Here. There we go. So I should be ready to craft this. Oh, pfft. Right, I lost B3 when I... I am an idiot. <laughs> right, because crafting that stuff you need to have, like, there's like some circular crafting item flow to this, so like... You need to spend the power to get a speed, you need to spend the speed to get a power, and I'm like, what am I doing? No, oh, that was a bit dumb of me. I wasted a bit of energy there. So Assassin's Mine, I'm ready to get later. This stuff, uh, can't really make much use of yet. This one... Dodge percentage... Oh, right, it's the light is a feather thing. I mean, I guess I can try to make one. Alright, who has, uh, speed one? Yeah, Mass Mom, you don't really need that anymore. So, let's see, Erosion 6. Let me see, what can I equip you with? That's actually pretty good. Shield? Maybe. Protect. Full specs. I guess in terms of value, this is actually pretty good. Oh, I can get Eagle Eye. Because if I get Eagle Eye, uh, I wouldn't have a problem hitting flying enemies if I have Massimo out. Because now that I have Massimo's weapon, I do plan on using him more often. So I guess it will be... Uh, better to use this in a long run. Oh, what, I, I keep exiting out the menu, my bad. Alright, so, let's see. Light as a feather. Oh, I need to sack a build speed for this? Here. 
So does that unlock the next... Oh, that does not. I thought that unlocked something else. Ooh. Oh, I have to give up an item capture for... Oh, you know what? I am getting this. Here. Wait, merchant guy. I know you have item captures for sale. Oh, you don't? What? Okay, you know what? Now that I got this. Who wants to get lucky again? Uh, because from what I've read up, you don't really need, um... Uh, you don't really need to have, like, people in the front lines to benefit from this. So I could just, uh, equip this on anyone. Uh, that puts him in alert status. Um, I don't want to give that up. Uh, you know what, I'll just put this on Spider. Alright, so now we've increased our drop chances by 6% flat. So, can I get anything weapon shop for cheap? Yeah, not really. <laughs> Although, what if I trade in something? Okay, that looks like a no. <laughs> okay, so, let me see. No. X plus the Mark II. To be honest, uh... Like, I'm not gonna use the Arrow Buster despite the evasion chance because reducing my defense stats for just a meager 5% evasion like, I could equip Light as a Feather and stack everything, but to be honest, uh, let's say if I do stack everything, like, a 20% uh, dodge chance while missing out on all the stats, like, minus 13 speed and, or armor and shield at this point in the game, not really worth it in my opinion. So I think I'll honestly just sell this. X-Buster, outdated. So... Uh, there we go. Soul Saber. I am not selling that, obviously. Uh, let's see. What else can I... What else can I really ditch? Oh, we got Generator, which is awesome. Because if we look at Generator, it automatically generates 20 weapon energy. Like, for just basically free of charge. So, I guess I can put this on... Uh... What do I put this on? I guess cinnamon? Because with generator, I can uh, basically use this for free and give my party members all 10 bonus weapon energy. Or I can just generate weapon energy just straight out of the bat, uh, off the bat. And then let me see if I have weapon energy 10. Yeah, that should push me over so that I can actually swap her in on one turn in case things get dicey. Uh, use generator, action trigger, uh, just spin the hell out of my C stick so I can actually uh, heal everyone. I, I did not mean to unequip that. And yeah, that seems like it will work rather well. Uh, I don't know what I should actually put here though. Full specs or. Eh, I'll just leave it like that. Fire guard, I don't need you anymore. Uh. Maybe I should equip arm. Oh no, I don't have any armor. Um, let's see. Protect, full specs, assassin's bind. Do I really need Exodus? Not really. What can I equip here? Let me see. Uh, I could do full specs. I mean, it's it's full. I think that is rather valuable. Okay, so I've kind of spent enough time doing that. Uh, did I forget to buy a weapon? <laughs> yes, I did. All right, all right, so let's go check out who we can purchase uh, an item for. So X is good. Zero, we're not getting back, and he has a soul saber. Spider, eh, I don't want to give up his other stats, so he's fine. Asimo already has his uh, end game item. Marino. On the other hand, it's pretty good. 
kind of want Metar Crash because screw fighting Metars. <laughs> so I guess I'll go get this for Axel. Oh, I can't trade that in. There we go. And I should have some figure tokens to spend in the shop here. Wait. Did I miss my chance to get the extra stuff? Oh, wait, I remember now. Uh, once... I believe once you, uh, go far enough in the story, that, uh, the vending machine changes and there's- there will be another vending machine somewhere else within Central Tower where you can buy the previous scenario stuff. But right now, this is only like the new list because for some reason they can't keep a list longer than what the mini can hold. I don't know. So, change over. I believe I spent enough time where I can actually. Let's see. I believe I spent enough time where the deploy came back. Oh no, I did not spend enough time. I guess I have to be out in the field? Not sure. Alright, so let's begin the mission. To give me give me all a mine? Give me all a yeah. So it's a mining place. You gotta go check it out. I probably should have saved. And cutscene. The lab's somewhere around here. Right. I don't imagine the Rebellion Army will let us sneak in easily. Hmm. Must be something important inside. Let's go. Hello, Shadow. About time. Meaning of friendship, oh man. Are we gonna have an anime moment again? All right, let's go. Pretty sweet music right off the bat. Ultra fire, all the ultra stuff, and a convenient save spot. Breaking the tension for the moment so I can save. And let's move. Alright, so we got two options left and right. I'm gonna go claim these items. DOA protect- Oh, am I gonna have to deal with insta-kills? Because what DOA is, is basically, uh... Uh, what- What's DOA again? Uh, I forgot what it stood for. Hold on. Let's see, is there a status ailments? Here it is. Yeah, DOA- Yeah, wait, what does it actually mean? Uh, oh, whatever. But basically, it's an instant kill. Oh, hold on. Uh, I have some new stuff. So, action trigger, axle, and stealth mode. Yeah, it, it's self explanatory. Just uh, input things on axle, and you're done. Figure token and figure token. What is this place? Hey, I see that Metar right there. Spider, can, can we double check what these were again? Enough from you. So Metar counter. Yeah, there's the little bastard when I saw him in uh, Godio's uh, laboratory. Turbo clock. And this guy, generator and build life energy. Alright, so Metar Crusher item, let's go. Uh, wait, so if this goes well against Metars, does it actually knock them out of their guard stance? Okay, that does not. Okay, I guess I need a melee for this. A 
Wait, do I actually get another... Ooh, interesting. I'm gonna go for a double hit here. Uh, minus armor is not bad. Uh, these two mostly do uh, uh, shot damage, so that's not that bad. The Metar changed to an anti S. Charge max. Can I get a big hit? Ooh, 4k damage. I think that unlocks uh, Massimo's second or third uh, third meter in his action trigger. Here goes. Oh wait, let me get the Reaper one actually. So I need to wait. One, two. Okay, it's spaced by one. There we go. Party's over. <laughs> Oh, it blocked it because it's sh uh, shielded. Uh, I should probably defend here. Defend. Have Massimo go in for the chop. Oh! Need more power. Ah, oh, we got nothing out of it though. Oh, there we go. Ma Massimo trigger level up. So if we go look back at the menu. Uh, wait, does it update? Oh, it does not. So basically, I believe we unlocked a meter that, when built up uh, enough, provides extra uh, critical hit chance, I believe. Ooh, the Ace of Spades. I doubt it'd be useful for Spider. Yeah, blanket attacks. Like, in terms of overall effectiveness, like, the Joker is a pretty valuable item to have at all times, despite the slight power differences. And there's a whole bunch of rocks that we actually can't get past, so we can't really do anything about them. But we can eventually, uh, we just need to keep progressing. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, not really much of a like spoiler, but uh, there's destructible objects in a way that we'll have to uh, acquire sooner or later. So let's see, energy capture. Ooh, energy capture. Interesting. You know what? Let's bring back Axel. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh. Let's do Mach Gentra's uh, ability. I wish you could get like a little damage bonus if you the quicker you actually input that. Because there's pretty much no incentive to actually build up your uh, meter. Unless you're really bad at the inputs, but honestly, like it's once you get used to it, like the input flow is rather ooh. Hello little guy. Sure you don't want to be in my expedition crew? You, I'm sure you'd make a fine addition. Okay, I need to double check your stats again, I forgot. Alright, so what you got for us? Fresh loader, boost power, and beam wonder. Unlock limiter. Interesting. Okay, so Marino. Here I go! Oh, wait, why'd I do that? <laughs> oh, well. I just wiped the floor with them. Head back. Uh, I think I'll just defend and just save time. Oh. Jesus! I forgot they do that. Yeah, okay, I might have forgot about that. Yeah, Marino, uh, 
I'm gonna need you to steal that stuff real fast. Okay, Axel, you're gonna have to defend for one quick turn, buddy. Oh shit! This is <laughs> oh, he committed suicide. <laughs> oh my god! Booster parts. Oh, Godio here. I didn't know where. I didn't know there were booster parts there. If you equip this, your dash power should increase. However, oh, how nice! Let me try it on X. Uh, Axel, wait, no. If normal replay equips it, there's a chance it might go out of control. Only X with his new armor can equip that. Oh darn! It's no fair that only X can equip it. Uh, uh oh, hang a minute. To improve dash strength, you can shatter the rock on his floor. Indeed, a bowler be easy work for you now. I can go to new areas. Continue on with your mission. So basically, X is our new drill. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, Axe will be happy being the drill boy. A mini motor. So if we look at the key items, a mini motor would net us. So enough to power up a sm a reploid. So basically, you remember you guys remember how we need that ball and chain for that one uh like uh reploid thing that we saw in uh uh Jantra's, uh area. So basically, uh, we need to acquire parts to start up certain units that are more powerful, I guess? And what am I doing? I forgot to, uh... Oh, whatever. I doubt this will hit. <laughs> yeah, even with that uh, eagle eye, though, <laughs> probably wouldn't have gotten anything done. Okay, you know what? I might as well just use cinnamon here. Might as well get some free heals going. There we go. And it's the generator. Oh wait. Oh right, I needed another W10 on her. Oh well. I just go defend for a turn or something. There we go. Didn't be that bad. So we'll go defend again, get an extra turn. Cinnamon should get some extra weapon energy. Please. Uh, I guess I can only go up to five? Uh, I thought I could get more hearts than that. Oh, it does, it, is it dependent on her hyper mode? I remember being able to get more hearts, but was it hyper mode based? Critical. Yeah, honestly, I don't know even why I bothered doing that. That wasn't too bad. All right, so we got some tank parts. Let's go back in here and destroy some boulders. And okay, I figure token, okay. Ha! That's a nice XP, so I might as well go in uh, John Trip form. I'll finish you. Let's see and it's the wipe. That wasn't too bad. Not bad, not bad. Got some tank energy that we don't really need, but it's something. And by something, I mean nothing because we're at max capacity, to be honest. Alright, so what do we got here? We got some extra doors. Okay, so I believe that door in front is the way forward, so let's go on the sides here to kind of excavate uh, extra stuff here. Huh. Interesting. Oh hey! Look at you! This thought it worked for the mini battery, so let's send him back. Alright, we got another buddy to help us search for stuff. Another guy to level up from zero. 
Ooh, so we meet again. All right, I, I see. I see how you want it. All right, how about some Jantra? Jantra. I'll finish you. And that didn't do crap. Uh, Cinnamon, how about you go back? Here I go. I forgot, uh... You know, I keep forgetting, uh, what do they drop again? Or, I mean, like, uh, what can I steal from them? Ready to rumble? I really wish that Analyzer didn't take up a force metal slot, because honestly it's more annoying than, like, strategic, and if you want to, like, know what an enemy has, because to be honest, like, it's either you know it or you don't, and like, whether or not you do know, it's like, well, it doesn't necessarily matter too much, because what can you do with the info that you know? Because you could, uh, save a turn, and then when you do save the turn, uh, like, looking things up, like, that's just one turn, because like, oh, you found out, that's it, done. But if you don't have Analyzer, you can just spend, like, an extra turn or two playing, like, Elemental Attack Poker, and figuring out, like, okay, like, this is more effective, uh, this isn't. So, honestly, it's... eh? Ooh, fun strike. And some powerful hits. And a one-shot kill, nice. You sure definitely do, Massimo. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to dump my remaining build powers onto you. Although, I think... I'm not sure if I should spread out, uh... Like, the more I think about it, I'm not sure if I should spread out my permastat items. Because, like, I have a whole lot here. But... I'm really not sure whether or not... I should actually... Like... I don't, I don't know. But it's kind of like a rare candy situation, it's like, you use it to get that boost right then and now, but, like, like there's always other things you have to consider, but honestly I don't really know. And also, uh, I haven't really shown it off because I kept power charging, but let me go show off the new action Behold trigger that we got. My true power. So we can see this third meter here for criticals. So we go all the way up to... Oh, 80%. <laughs> oh boy, that third meter really changes things up. Power. So instead of like, just like, your standard size beam. Oh baby. <laughs> Uh, puts the sheep to woof guy to shame. And guess what? We still have one more form to to actually acquire. We still have one more form, and that that extra meter nets us um nets us extra hits. So if we think that one big critical hit actually does a lot, wait till we get like five more hits, I believe. I don't remember the increment building. I, I believe it goes up to 8, but I I don't remember from what I read up. Ooh, tank parts. Uh, game's being real generous with the tank parts, so I don't mind. No, I would use more extra health regen. So yeah, who is... Uh, I can't see past Massimo's weapon. <laughs> I, I can't see him. Ready to rumble? Let's see, who who are you? Who, oh, okay. Commander. Eh. Uh, let's go back to Marino. Here I go. Let's go knock this guy. Uh, knock the Metacure uh, out of its uh, guard stance. Axel will go do Mach Dentra again for AoE.
Man, I'm really having a fun time doing those inputs, like, uh, now that I've gotten used to them, like, it just feels so... That wasn't a final? Boy! Be Massimo! Y'all run away from me, I need that, uh, drop item. Final strike? Question mark? Oh, you what? Ah, not gonna waste my time with a uh, action trigger. As fancy as it looks, uh, it, it, it wastes more time, honestly. Hey, <laughs> okay, we got more energy captures. Uh, are energy captures sub weapons? Oh, whoops, I did not mean to put that. Energy capture. Capture. Oh, yeah. Uh. Restore life energy based on damage? Uh, I thought that was a uh, weapon energy steal. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, to be honest? 30 weapon energy for that? Hey, 800 FME. I can always use more of that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. If I remember correctly, I also meet a, a real strong enemy here uh, if I keep uh, chancing the encounter enough. So hopefully I can actually uh, meet that enemy now that I have Axel's uh, Metar gun. And also I have Massimo's uh, Interceptor staff that or lance. So I should have enough firepower to take down that special enemy. Because you guys don't remember what that special enemy was if I because I'm pretty sure I went over this a while ago, but in case I didn't. Basically, there's uh where is it? There it is. There's the Metar Gigant that I can actually get a recipe for once I actually kill it. But I believe it's around here in this area. But I think it's a low chance of encounter? I don't remember exactly because in my playthroughs of this game when I played this a long time ago, I've never met the Matar Giant. Like, no matter how many times I farmed here, no matter like... Hey... You again. You're not gonna get away from me this time. Enough from you. Okay, so what did I get from you again? Ace of Diamonds, Boost Shield, B Miracle, and get FME. Okay, so those two drops are like the most important stuff here. Ace of Diamonds, I can honestly say screw it, because let's be honest, like, Spider, I already talked about it. Joker, best weapon. So I'll probably do Wild Django here to knock him out of his guard stance, because it should count as a close range hit. So if I action trigger, go for Django, I should knock him out. I have to think about those last two inputs because I don't really input Wild Django that much. Ooh. Now there we go. And uh, let's get some extra Zenny out of it. Hawkeye, just to be sure. Oh, that, okay, that's... Okay. Don't tell me run away. Please don't run away. Oh, uh, what? Oh. You know what? I had a Massimo. Need more power. You know what? I could go back to Godil's uh, laboratory and go through the Eternal Forest again. Ooh, Cinnamon leveled up. Or Action Trigger, I mean. So I think that's what I was talking about earlier with the extra hearts. I think, uh, I think she gains more combat experience. I can have more hearts to uh, roll for, but when I use her... Uh, action trigger. So, the more I keep battling, uh, the more burst region I can get in case uh, stuff hits the fan. And I believe this was it to this floor? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, you know, I'll go back real quick because I believe I should have spent enough time to actually check the deployment center again. Then, once I do that, uh, actually, let me go heal first before I forget. 
And also, if you guys didn't notice with the extra boosted parts, we actually get an extra bit of like rocket burst from like X's boots to show that A hey, extra power. And also, did I have. Actually, I got enough Zennies to actually make a trip to the weapon shop. So, let me go there real quick. So, I believe I should get an upgrade for. Um. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, do I really want to upgrade the... Okay, well, it's too late now because I went here, but... Uh, do I really want to spend my money now and upgrade, or do I want to save up for another super weapon? Okay, so I think I'll save up for Cinnamon's weapon because her, uh, speak her Seeker Shop weapon is god tier. So I think I'll just upgrade... Verano, I believe? Yeah, I, honestly, I think uh, she's the only one worth upgrading for. So, I'll just go equip this. Done. And let's just go straight back into business. So yeah, uh, not real much to talk about while we kind of backtrack back. So... Uh, what do I talk about? Honestly, uh, I don't know what I, I- I guess I can ramble on about college stuff, but I'm not sure if I wanna ramble on about that. Okay, so we got some returns, and I think we failed the mission, didn't we? Uh... Sure? Ooh. 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 Wow. These guys suck. Okay, so I need extra move. Because uh, I believe tutorial with the stats. Uh, is there a... There it is. Mission time. Like the hero returning safely. Mission time. Number of zennies. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to disconnect. Okay, so let's go check this out. We need to level up uh, Mega Mancer here. Gear Ball. Sign Dropper? Question mark? Uh, I don't know. Let's go for it. Okay, so in terms of attack, who really needs it? Metar for sure. Rush Loader. And yeah, like Shark Guy doesn't really have anything going for him. Yeah, I'll just keep sending them out. I know they don't really provide that many results, but I need something. The plus int, who would want that? Uh, I guess I can go for. Uh, actually, more. I think more search would be better. We got search. Oh. Oh, that's awkward. Uh... I would really prefer if I didn't have that many... Ah, uh, you know what, let's just finish this off. I know I'm going back on my word with this, but I need increased success rate, but... I need to get some levels and guaranteed ones at that, so hopefully deploying some Hall of Famers would actually increase the success rate of the mission. But until, like I said, until I keep getting more and more units, uh, I'll be more hesitant to send out Hall of Famers this early. Oh yeah, wait, did I forget to equip? No, 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 uh, when I trade in, it's automatically equipped. Save here? Ah, sure. Alright, ooh, we got here. Ooh. That is pretty sweet. Everybody, let's go. Alright, on your command. Wanna kill? Man, that's... Getting this really busted the game open for me. Oh, that's only a double hit, right. 
<laughs> yeah, that was a one hit. Oh, final strike? Ah, uh, pixel off. Need more power. Ooh, we got a virus missile. Always good fodder for uh selling to the merchant. Alright, and now as we go. So anti-lock there, we don't really need that. We pretty much reveal the every other room. I believe we just need to keep moving forward. Uh, let me double check this area again, I don't remember. Oh yeah, I already visited this area. <sighs> okay, so I guess you have to like, go adjacent to it or something. <laughs> or not like, directly adjacent, I guess you can approach it at like an awkward angle. Oh, hello. You guys, uh, do you have any different stats now that you're in this area? Or are you the same enemy type with, with drops? You guys are exactly the same, so I'll go back to Axel. I'm Axel. Uh, did you guys hear, did you guys hear that, uh, train? I apologize if you do. Uh, my neighborhood's, like, kinda next to, uh, Train tracks, so it's like, you know, it's kind of far. It's like that horn reaches out over a long, long distance. Ha! So my apologies if that bothers you guys. Hopefully it doesn't. All right, silver horn. Cause like I could close my window to prevent the sound from coming through as much, but I kind of need to leave it open because. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Part of my French. I I am gonna close that window. Oh jeez, I can still hear it even with the <laughs> the window closed. Oh boy, gotta love living in my area. Anyways. What do we got here? Go. Ooh, final strike. Yeah! Let's do this. Huh, that kind of has a neutral hit. Oh, maybe I can get a DOA attack on. I cannot reach my mute button in time. Anyways. Excuse me. <laughs> Eight, one, two. Party's over. There we go. There's the crash. Next. Oh, uh, empty. Ooh, level up for Axel. Always nice. Yeah, I should really uh, put in a hotkey for being my uh, mic on OBS. Uh, I did not input that uh, when I swapped things over. Wrong floor. I did not input a, uh, a mute key, so my bad. Oh god, I'm just like, my allergies are also acting up too. Eh. Uh, uh, this season is not a good season for my allergies. Because, <laughs> like... Pollen is just acting up everywhere, and who is this? Oh, hello. Shadow. You. Long time no see, X. Shadow. Those crazy red eyes and fangs. You're gonna pay for betraying us. Well, X, I suppose you came here hoping to find the Supra Force Medal. Supra Force Medal? What's that? You know very well. 
It's an improved form of force metal that the Rebellion Army is studying to help all Reploids achieve their ideal. You government lackeys can't have it! Achieve their ideal? What is it that the Super Force Metal does exactly? There's no need for me to describe the effects. Take me on and see for yourselves. Something tells me a scripted loss is coming up. My JRPG senses are acting up. I'll tear all of you to little pieces. Uh oh. Okay, wait. Hold on. I need spider. I need to analyze this. Do I got anything to steal from you? Ready to rumble? Gain hyper unlock limiter. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Do I want Axel? My turn. Here goes nothing. All right, so I probably need some melee hits to disrupt his uh, charge attack. Or, uh. Now the real. Okay, I'm gonna need Quicksilver so I can get some extra turns, because I want to steal that unlock limiter, whatever the hell that is. As we can see here, we got a lot of extra turns up our sleeve. Uh, boost Zenny? Uh, no. I, I, th I believe this is still scripted, so... There we go. Take that. Okay, so I stole a gain hyper. Now I need to wait one more turn. Come on, Massimo. I'll get you for this! There we go. Okay, so we just needed a big enough hit to actually... Oh no, why'd I do that? Oh no. Okay, I, I, I can still recover this. There we go. Okay, so now I should be able to steal. There we go. Unlock limiter. Take that. So whatever the hell that is, I just got it. <laughs> oh, what? That is a huge hit. Fair enough, you will need to cool down a bit. I don't really need your uh, hyper mode anymore. So, how about we swap out for... Uh, honestly, I think you're fine. Uh, Massimo, I believe hyper mode's adequate here. But yeah, who should I give my uh, hyper mo build hyper to? I'm debating between uh, Massimo or Marino, to be honest. There may be even Axel. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me see. Do I power charge here, or do I defend? Hold on, something in my eye. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go with the standard attack. Ooh. Okay, so I should be able to uh, disrupt the charge with one full action trigger. Ooh, huge hit. Uh, rotation. Ah, let's put an axle. I'm Axel. Yes, you certainly are. Let's go hyper mode you too, just because. Because the stealth mode, uh, it's basically the same in the way it acts with the uh, spider. Actually, uh, auto dodge everything, and uh. It's only limited to two turns, so like you only really want to use it if you want to get like 
some big burst damage out in one go or something. Like so. And in a positive way, uh, delaying my turn like this, uh, uh oh. Oh no. Well, my true, power. true power, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that should be plenty. And scripted. <laughs> X, surely you can tell. I'm stronger now. All due to the power of Supra Force Metal. I swore allegiance to Epsilon for this. You sold out your friends for that power? That's some ideal. All you Mavericks care about is power. How dare you call the great Epsilon a Maverick? X, I had hoped to gain you as an ally, but I hope no longer. I'll take your head. For Epsilon, it all ends here. Nice lip sync. Ah! Uh, you! You're alive? Is that who we think it is? Hey. Huh? Zero! Think you could beat me so easily? Shadow! I've got a big wad of payback just for you. Time for round two. Let's do it, Maverick! Oh, hey, round two. Let's go. We got the squad back. Oh, wait. Do I need to re-equip Zero with... Oh, no, no. He's automatically equipped. I'll tear all of you to little pieces. Wait, Force Metal Hazard. Yeah. Oh, no! Wait, Force Metal Hazard? Wait. Why does Zero have Force Metal Hazard? He should have been equipped with the stuff I gave him. Oh no, but they under- wait. Wait, wait, why, why is he only at 500? Oh no, this is gonna suck, but we need the- we need the OG crew here. I- I, I can't change back. Oh, I wait, actually let me analyze this real quick. The shadow actually drop, uh... Let's see. Ready to rumble? Does he have a anything extra now? Build and build. Bigger token. Uh, that. I guess I'll go for it, Marina. Where are you? Ready or not. Oh wait, I can only do this for one more round. Hmm. Nah, not worth it. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't notice, like with the previous battle, uh, we didn't even get the uh, bar for Final Strike, actually. So it's kind of like a hint to show tell you that, like, hey, like, you oh my god, Zero. <laughs> you know what, this is perfect. <laughs> because the Soul Saber uh, increases attack if you're at 25% or below health. So let's see how much more power we get out of this. Uh, that's not that much. Uh oh. Here goes. Here we go. Take that. And that did nothing to break his uh, super armor. But I know something that actually can I guard to? No, I can't. Here goes nothing. So even though this is 100%, it should still be enough to add in enough hits to hit him out of his uh, thing there. Go down. I'll get you for this. But yeah, uh, zero, um, buddy. A, uh, I know you mean well and everything, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, I th I think I might need to swap you out here. Uh, Massimo? 
So I'm gonna need to swap you out so I can heal myself. That's not gonna hurt. See? Ah, uh, not bad, not bad. Okay, Marino. I need to save uh, one more turn's worth of weapon energy. I'll get you for this. Ooh, nice crit, nice crit. <laughs> and another round of small damage. Not really too bad. I can just... No, no, I can't lifesteal from that. But you know what else I can do? Give it in everything. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Full power? Full power. Behold, my true power. I'll get you for this. <laughs> uh, okay, so that took down a third. He must have 8,000 life left. So, if I do my math correctly... So 7,000, no, no, 6,750 health. Here goes. Gonna go greed the hit for the treasure. Take that. I'll go take the permastat ups, thank you very much. Ah, eh, not so fatal now with uh, X's uh, huge power. And okay, now... Now we finish things off. Although I really wish I could've used Zero, but... Eh, I don't want to delay this for too long. Because hopefully this will lower him far down enough that I can actually get a final strike off. Yes! Got it! Yeah, 20k damage? That better be dead. How could this be? There we go. 75% extra XP, and that's how I like it. <sighs> I did it. That's how we do it. Wait, level ups for almost for pretty much everyone. Man, am I glad to see you. You're too soft, X. You always were. It only leads to trouble. Uh-oh. Watch out! <laughs> Spider! Your arm! Guess I overdid it, huh? Ow. Why? I said I didn't need your help. Yeah, I know. I heard you in the first place. Listen, there really isn't anything complicated about hey, why I decided to make friends with a low-life bounty hunter like me. It's quite simple, really. Just like why I saved you. Because I felt like it, Zero. That's it. But now what? I guess we gotta go check the lab. Okay, Spider. You stay put with that arm. We'll check on you later. Wait. Take me to the lab with you. Surely a group of Class S hunters like yourselves can stand to have a little handicap along for the ride. And, like I said, I'm curious about this stinking ideal of theirs. You've earned my respect, Spider. Let's go. Oh. Tch, <laughs> wrong hand. <sighs> I just love how janky that animation was. You didn't even see their, uh, their hands even clasp. <laughs> Okay, so why the hell was Zero at... 
Wait, where'd this go? Wait, what? Why did that get unequipped? Oh, wait. Oh, now I understand. Because I equipped this on Axel, this couldn't get removed. And so, they just had to go with the original setup and- Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna have to unequip you. Uh, is there anything I can... DOA protection? Sure. Exodus? Sure. Okay, so let's avoid having you, uh... Having that happen again. <laughs> Okay, so, let me see. Uh, weapon energy, weapon energy. There we go. Now we got ample gain for zero. He should be able to get it on first turn. Uh, what I'll put on X as a... supplement item. Honestly, uh, X is pretty good on all fronts in terms of his stats. Maybe I should put on a... Hmm... Maybe I should put on an Elemental Guard. I, I don't really know what, but maybe Water Guard? Honestly, I don't really know. Okay, so... I think at this point we can just safely travel back, because to be honest, uh... Uh, don't... Don't I really want to go back, though? I mean, how many of us are injured? So, one... Two injuries. Alright, that's- Oh yeah, that's enough to fill me up a lot, and... Alright, I guess we're back in business. A miner, dude. Hey, what's up? Let's see, now mining. Malfunction. Two of malfunction. Wait, what's wrong, buddy? Oh, I guess he can't tell us. Got a Gamilla key. Or Gimiala? Or whatever. So I guess we have to come back here uh, to unlock what's behind that secret door with the deployment stuff. Okay, full malfunction. It's a lot of them are having some malfunctioning problems. Force missiles? What's that? Lay it on me, buddy. What do they do? Fires four missiles. Okay, I'm gonna need this on someone that doesn't really benefit from this. Uh has heat haze. No, I kind of want uh, zero to have double heat haze for the extra hits. Joker. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to keep this. Hunter missile. I I could do force missiles. Cause to be honest, like ax, I I'm pretty used to the inputs where I don't really mess them up. So be good. I see. What time is it right now? Ooh, it's almost midnight. Alright, so... Maybe I'll just explore a little more, and then once I get to a good point, I'll probably stop for the night. Because, uh... I, I, I've been there. I should really try fixing my sleep schedule, but, uh... Maybe i just get in the habit of just uh, ending at a proper time and not going too late. Anyways. I really should use Hawkeye there. Alright, pretty sweet. Another energy capture. Double level ups. Almost got cinnamon to level 20, so I can actually unlock more uh, crafting options. And let's see what's behind. Uh, what do you have to say? Still malfunction again. A lot of malfunctions going on here. Ah, oh, minor dude. Ace of hearts. Ooh. So, guaranteed final blow at for XP, but reduced speed by a substantial amount. Uh, I'll take my chances with the RNG effects. 
Because it's basically almost like equipping four different weapons at once. Because of the one of four effects. Wait, which way is, uh... I, I forgot, uh, hold on. Formation, let's put zero up in front. Axel, yeah, let's just have the original trio here. I kind of like them. Did I already answer here? I'm getting kind of lost. Oh, yeah, I already answered here. Oh, hello, dude. Let's see, what to do? Hey, you took it. Hey, now, hear me out, will ya? I want to fix this device here, but some mining reploids took off with the electric components. I think the owner of this had a red pick of this red pickaxe, took it by mistake. Find it for me, will ya? You know the set of mining replays, they'll know if it's theirs. Don't worry, just give it a try. Alright, buddy. So, red pickaxe, red pickaxe. Hey there, buddy, you have a red suit. You should probably need a red pickaxe. Heat emission, take this in exchange. Thank you. And now that I have a yellow one, I can exchange it with that guy for his blue pickaxe and probably get some extra rewards going on here. Ooh, gold metar. So what do you got for me? I forgot what you drop. Enough from you. So what do you drop, buddy? Melt missile and get Zenny. Uh I'm Axel. Honestly, I could go for Wild Django, knock him out, then get zero for the finishing blow. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and do that. Knock him out of a stance. Body worn down, meaning that Stats have gone down. Ooh, I think I can almost squeeze out seven if I input fast enough. Take this. Ooh, final strike. Follow up to me. Pretty sweet. And some charge shot action charge going on here. Now, yeah. Ooh, pretty heavy hit. Uh, yeah, this isn't gonna do anything, but yeah, that's yeah, that doesn't do crap. Um, uh, yeah, I don't want to risk it running away. Uh, let's just switch out for Massimo. And kaboom! Or not. Oh, this gives me another chance to build up Zero's action trigger. Sweet! Eight hits. Wait, how do you miss a, a waddling target? Zero, please. Hardly a fight. Oh, I got nothing out of that? Oh, that sucks. Let's see, malfunction. Trade yellow for that. So I should get something uh, if I switch out everyone's uh, tools properly. Ooh, Turbo Clock. I kind of want to get you. Oh, what? Oh, right. Medicure. Okay, I'm gonna use zero breakthrough so I can eliminate the guard. Then after that is just free reign with the. Uh... Oh yes, I got seven up. Take this. There you go. Because with the zeros, the uh, action triggers, the different commands have different power levels and utilities to it. Uh, I believe I explained it earlier, but I can always explain it again. So basically, the zero slash is your bog standard attack, which apparently. Um, which apparently uh, hits for 80% of normal damage, but is easy to pull off. 
zero breakthrough, which is the backwards quarter circle uh, motion, uh, is uh, automatically pierce a guard, but at 30% power. Ooh, generator. And the uh, zero, uh, what's it? Uh, uh, the one dragon punch motion is for the anti air on flying units. So, uh, against like any flying enemies or bosses, it's extremely helpful to if you can consistently pull off a dragon punch motion. Some silver horn tidal wave. It's the wipe. If not, we get a coupon strike. Why don't we wipe them all? That wasn't too bad. And uh, I think, uh, in terms of stuff, I'll probably do off stream. I'll probably, uh, I don't want to give it to you yet. In terms of off stream stuff, I'll probably go do the eternal forest on my own. Uh, wait, who do I have for pickaxe? I have a blue one. I need to look for a blue guy. Blue, blue, where are you? There you are. And now if I go back to that green miner reploid, to be able to finish that side quest and get something? What the item was, I don't remember. And oh, these things. Uh, hold on. Ready or not? Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, spider, I need you again. I forgot. What did these guys give? And I should remember not to kill them by accident. From you. So, boost power and beam wonder. I really wonder what beam wonder is. Here I go! Okay, so I'll go boost the Zenny of the middle one. Just Unbelievable. Kind of just delay the turn. Hey, that hurt, Buster. Probably go defend with these guys because I do not want those things enraged. There we go. Alright, not bad defense. Uh oh no 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 no. Ooh. I'm not sure if I want to steal from that one anymore. Here I gotta go. steal from this one. Take that. So I got boost power. I just gotta wait a few more turns. Okay, so that's the E3 one. So I wanna defend again. So the thing is going to be passive for a little while, but I really want to guarantee uh, that, that Beam Wonder Buster. thing. Really wonder what that's going to get me. Oh no, please. Zero. Zero. Ooh, okay. Massimo, are you going to counter? Oh, no, we're good. Okay, so we still need to wait for Merino, so... Gotta defend again. I don't know. Uh, how about attack this one? Because if I defend, I only get half my energy gain back. So I'll need to keep delaying my turn by uh, taking standard actions. Uh oh. If he counters. Oh no, that's even worse. Don't counter that one. Oh, thank you. Okay, it's fine if you counter that one. Or not. Interesting. Okay, so I believe if I don't mess this up, I should be fine killing these. Because they only enrage once it gets to their turn. And there we go. One, one, two. There we go. Take that. And beam wonder. Okay. Now this thing's probably gonna go kamikaze on us. Unbelievable. Huh. It must be a guaranteed eight hundred damage. Interesting. 
Alright, so I took that much damage, but was it worth it? Uh, where is it? Well, what's Beam? Oh, Beam Wonder. Ooh. Final Blow XP. Interesting. So I give up a little bit. Oh, but I lose out on my double hit. Because even though it has higher base attack, I lose out on the second hit. So I get one big hit while losing out on two medium-sized hits. And to be honest, the two medium hits are more uh, damage per attack uh, compared to this. But double XP could work wonders if I play my cards right. Because honestly, Spider... Um, uh, let's be honest, I'm not going to get anything out of Spider. So I'll just go with that. I believe the final blow should apply to action triggers also, so that should be fine. Okay, so let's go give the pickaxe back to uh, mine over here. Take this in exchange. A trade sheet? Uh, interesting. What is this trade sheet, my good sir? Do specialize to comprehend. I wonder. Hey, yeah, you finally found this. By the way, you can go down to B4. What's this? A trade sheet? Where'd you find it? Oh, I think the guy had it. So take it. Infinite resist. Ooh. Infinite resist. Nice. As, uh, as a reminder of what that does stat loss reduction immunity. So, if. Uh, who can I equip this on? That would really benefit from that. I believe zero, but I would really want him to have the weapon energy gain. So, who would go really well with stat loss reduction? Uh, I believe the only other one I would prefer that on is X. So I'm probably gonna have to equip a lot of this. Because uh, stat loss resist is god tier. X heart, uh, because we need a filler. Ratio, eh. Yeah, room for four space. Power one doesn't really mean anything. Tech one, it could be value, but I don't really know. Eagle eye is always consistent. Uh, well, even more so. But X is range, so it doesn't really matter. I can always get status ailment resist, but it's kind of meh. I could go for a fire guard. Uh, is there anything I can equip for like one or something? Like fire resist for sure. Alright. Uh, zero. Ah, let's go heal you. It's not like I plan on having you at 25% health. Yeah, stat debuffs uh, will get will become more commonplace if memory serves me correctly. So having more units with uh, stat buff, stat debuff immunity would help. Uh, would work wonders. All right, so level four. And from what I'm assuming, with that little grate down there, we have reached the uh, lowest level. Oh yeah, f five uh, item crystals. Save point. One door compared to two. Something tells me that we're getting close to the end here. Interesting. So we get more... Uh... Ooh, build weapon energy again. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make a decision here. Uh, what do I want to give uh, these weapons to? Uh, interesting that I can't uh, unequip... Uh... Items. So let me go. Er, let's see, how much of these do I actually have? So stat boost. Oh, what's this? Unlock limiter. Use once per battle all parameters at 150%. Oh, so it's a super boost. Interesting, interesting. Okay. 
So that's a super boost, uh... Okay. Okay, so, but I gotta decide here now. Who do I want to give these to? In terms of life energy, um, considering Cinnamon to make up for the fact that, uh, the fact that she's like, kind of like the healer debuffer archetype with her, uh, her super weapon that we'll get later on eventually. Uh, she could definitely use more stats to pat her out a bit. Massimo obviously doesn't need it, that would be overboard. Uh, who else could possibly receive, uh, Ellie? Possibly Merino or Axel, because they're kind of on the low side. So, I'm possibly... Although, honestly, I'm not sure if I would really give it to Merino, because... Even though I do believe she's rather useful, uh, I... Personally, only really use her to... Uh, guarantee steal stuff, so... Uh, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll just burn all of my life energies to Cinnamon, so once I actually do bring her out into battle, uh, she can probably actually live a decent amount, because it's... And let's be honest, with uh, this kind of stuff, you don't really want to spread your uh, stats too far. It's like, oh, like give a little bit here and there. Like, you might want to specialize to make up for a specific weakness of a specific character. So in this case, Cinnamon with Life Energy. Weapon Energy, I would assume they're only useful in chunks of 5, because, like, let's be honest, like, what use is plus 1 Weapon Energy going to be when you put it on anyone, aside from, like, Marino, because she has, like, an odd starting amount. So... I could save these chunks of 5 for possibly 0 or Cinnamon, because they naturally start off with very low weapon energy at the start of a battle, and in order for me to actually trigger their action triggers on the first turn, I need to build up their bases with either Force Medals or Perma stat buffs. So I'm kind of leaning on giving this towards zero because I would love to actually use this action trigger from round one. Uh, so that can actually give me more room later on with his uh, force medals. Because right now I have to just dump all of the gain weapon energies on him. But I would love to have more utility with uh, my choice or flexibility with my choices. Build Hyper. This is a tough one. So uh, Marino and X and possibly Cinnamon, I'd say they all have enough, to be honest, uh, that doesn't really warrant uh, a build hyper on them. So Massimo could always be useful too, because uh, with the amount of weapon energy gain he has, he can possibly deal out one uh, action trigger per turn, or close to one if I remove his infinite resist for weapon energy. Uh, I could possibly give it to Zero because Zero in his uh, super form, or hyper mode form, is incredibly awesome. Axel, I could possibly give it to him, but it's kind of like the spider situation. Like, there is a little bit of increased stats, but in terms of actual utility, I... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. So, it's... Honestly, it's a toss-up between Zero and Massimo, but I think I want to give it to Zero, to be honest. Most because I just uh, love using Zero's action triggers and <laughs> just being all badass with his D-Saber stuff, because uh, with the X-Series, because uh, with the X-Series, uh, Zero's always been my favorite character. Oh yeah, whoops. That's that. Okay, so I'll go give these all to Cinnamon, so... Better use them now than at endgame to prevent an elixir situation. Uh, build weapon energy, we'll put that on later. Build hyper, zero. Build power. So I'm not really sure about this one to be honest. Because Marino, she's basically my item steal uh, person, so eh. Massimo already has like a huge amount of like, stuff to work with, so I don't want to burn one on him. Zero could always be nice, but he already has enough uh, because of his Soul Saber. Axel... Okay, uh, uh, Cinnamon, uh, I'm sorry, you're not going to be my DPS, so I'm not going to give any to you. I'm sorry. So, possibly X, because he's the main character, and lol, main character, uh, all the power. Axel... 
I don't know if I want to give it to him, to be honest. Because, like, uh... I guess he could be useful with extra damage, but I kind of use him mainly for action trigger utility, like with some other characters. Like, if I really need to hit a specific weakness, or... Just, like, need, like, overall coverage and not drop... Eh, uh, no. I don't know. Because, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'll just give the power to X, honestly. <laughs> Let, let's just soup up the main character. <laughs> DPS Mercy. Oh dear god. Sarah, you should check out my Battle Mercy when I play Overwatch. Nah, just kidding. I haven't played Overwatch in forever. Okay, armor. So who do we got for armor? Marina, let's just skip her. Massimo is a health tank, so it doesn't matter. Zero is... Like, his stat distribution is pretty much, uh, all round. I possibly want to use this on either Axel or Cinnamon. Uh... Although I guess I can evenly distribute the, the defensive stuff, but in terms of the offensive things like build hyper, power, and speed, I might want to dump that all onto one, or just like focus it on a few. But I guess I can spread out the uh, defensive stuff because armor is kind of lacking on Cinnamon and Axel because everyone else is like 80-ish and above. Axel and Cinnamon are quite lacking, so I believe I should distribute this rather evenly because they're both going to take a lot of hits. Uh... Oh yeah, shield. So in terms of shield... That's kind of okay. Like, I would say like 80 is like the baseline for this party. Oh yeah, Cinnamon, you are gonna take all of that. You... you really need that. <laughs> okay, so who do we have for speed? Uh, that might have to be Massimo. Massimo or Cinnamon? Hmm... Massimo or Cinnamon? Do I want to keep souping up Cinnamon? Hmm. Or do I want to evenly distribute this? Because I could, they both could definitely use the base stat. I believe I should distribute both. But... Who would get the extra one? Okay, so that's already set in place, but who would get the extra? So, Cinnamon... Massimo. Because Massimo could always use extra speed to get his turn faster, so he can actually be more relevant in fights with, like, faster enemies. But Cinnamon, I could always use her if I have her out for those crucial moments where our turn order is everything. Everyone else is kind of alright, because their weapons are kind of low speed. Or low weight. Just that Massimo with his lance uh, takes away a lot of his speed, while Cinnamon is overall stat deficient in all areas. Uh, I guess the more I mention this, I guess speed would more, probably make more sense on Cinnamon. And alright, that is pretty much it for all the build stuff except for this, because like I'll need to do that in chunks of five. Uh, I'll go return to the Hunter base, actually. Uh, I need to recheck my deployment center and go heal up, because I believe a boss is coming up soon. Alright, Central Tower, what we got? Ooh, level up? Sweet, sweet. Uh, well, obviously Hall of Famers can't level up again. So, more just whatever stuff. Ah, sweet! D Shark made it back. Rush Loader made it back with extra stats in both uh, things. That's all oh my. Did someone just save his butt so he can actually level up? Oh my god. Oops. Wait, hold on, I need to type a message. There we go. And my brother's sending me a message, so I needed a message, huh? 
What we got? We got some collectibles, that's kind of whatever. The oof- uh oh, wait. Were there always three stars? Oh, sweet, look at that move up. That significantly reduces uh, mission time by a substantial amount. Oh. Hey. Stamina missile, figure token. Oh, what's a stamina missile? Stamina missile, stamina. Deals damage based on 10% of attacker's life and... Alright, Massimo, Massimo, where are you? Ditch that. You are gonna grab a load of this. Uh, okay, now this is interesting. Do I go for a generator on Massimo? Actually, wait. Uh, but I would love power charge because if I can... Oh, wait. Oh, come on. Don't make me decide like this. Because, like, what I'm thinking is that, like, either I have the setup for power charge generator so that I can uh, generate power charge and possibly have enough for an action trigger. Or I have the stamina missile and uh, a generator so I can stamina missile for... Actually, no, the, the, the damage difference is... Uh, you know what? I think this is the better setup. Also, what is this uh, Z in the, the blah blah blah? So, breaks armor. Power equals 40%. Hmm... It goes through armor from what this is saying, but is it really worth the power loss? Because that is a lot of base damage I'm giving up. Joker stuff. Eh. Alright, let, let's go back and redeploy. Uh, let me see. So wait, this one raises int. I believe I can raise int with the uh, degraver. I might want to send the. Hold on. Degraver, you can go check that out. Bigamancer. Uh, Metar. Got it. Uh. Let's be honest, is, is the Metar gonna be the joke character and just stay at level 1 forever? <laughs> I really don't want him to end up as like, that guy that everyone just looks down on. I mean, look at him, he's only level 1 this entire playthrough. Oh, hold on, uh, what's the phrase's attack? Go deal laboratory. Okay, so I'm gonna need, let's see, Mega Mancer. Go with Killer Mantis. You gave her. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. So, Shark, Metar, Degraver. Because I'm gonna have to raise uh, Degraver's proficiencies in every area. Uh, because. Yeah. So, it's an alright spread, so they should return with some goodies. Alright, so this raises int. Who really needs the int? Rush loader can use it. Sign dropper, no. You know, these two could really use the stats for that. So, a good selection of units. Seems good. So, have I deployed all of my... Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll go save the rest until I get in enough, uh... Let's see. How much money do I have, by the way? Ooh. You know, like, with the amount of money we're getting, uh, it is becoming a lot more easier to acquire the secret shop items. Like, I never think about secret shop, I keep thinking about Dota. 
All right, also, where's Zero hanging out? Is he hanging out here? Is Zero gonna be that cool guy loner who just looks over out the distance on the heliport? Where are you, Zero? Are you gonna be that cool guy? All ah, you are gonna be that cool guy just looking out in the distance. What's eating away at you, buddy? X, I thought you were soft, but... Er, I thought you were soft, that... You used the friend, the word friend too lightly. But I've been led astray. I forgot that you had the power to bring people with the same beliefs together. Spider, he was your true friend. And starting now, I'm your true friend too. X, let me fight with you. Let's join forces. Ah, we're always a partner, buddy. You never left. You just had some feelings to sort out. It's alright. How are you doing, Marino? Taking a shot for somebody uh, when you don't know if they're friend or foe. That's just totally cool. No, seriously. I guess friends really are important. Yes, Marino's kind of fanboying a little bit. <laughs> what do you gotta say, Massimo? Spider put himself in harm's way to protect Zero. Takes some guts. I learn a thing or two from him. Yeah. I steal Massimo. What's a fuck? We'll, uh, we'll fight to the very last breath, ho ho. Spider always acts so suave, but sometimes they can be pretty reckless. Well, it brought, it brought Zero back to us, so I really shouldn't complain. Alright, Zero, so how are you holding up with that damaged arm of yours? Like I said, right? Zero came back, you see. But sometimes I wonder if I re really should have played Hero. Ouch. Gonna check? Ah, I have no such thing. I can't stand having anybody mess with my parts. Let's just get back to the mission, people. Oh, I'm in this for a long haul. Yeah, uh... I have a huge suspicion about Spider. Because you guys remember that scene where we saw that shapeshift effect that we saw from Axel? But Spider ended up coming out? So... Zero coming up out of nowhere. And saying like, oh, what's up? Ah, nothing much. And now Zero coming up here saying that, uh, let's see, run a check. Nobody wants to mess with my parts. So he is definitely hiding something. And the more you think about it, when Spider is inquiring, like, what ideals the uh, Rebellion Army is talking about, I guess you can try to infer more from that, but... As of, like, uh, the beginning of this chapter when we saw that, that's highly suspicious. Yeah, I asked Zero to be friends with me, but then he glared at me and said, We're, we're more than friends. We're comrades. Bound together by our common goal to defeat the Rebellion. Uh, friends, comrades, they're all the same to me. I'm happy as long as Zero's back with us. Oh, how nice. But, uh, let me see what time is it. Oh, that is... Okay, I should not overstay my welcome here with the... Uh, <laughs> with uh, the time at night right now. So, I'll probably just go save here. End it for now. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, like a little past midnight. So, I'll go call it here. I don't want to spend too long and waking up basically dead in the morning going, Ugh. That's, like, waking up... Ended up waking up at like 10 in the morning end up waiting like two hours for my body to actually function again so I can actually get some work done because I still have some college work to do. <laughs> so I decided to just take this night to relax though, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. So I'll probably go switch over the scene and stuff. One moment.